You're now tuned into Bars and Hoops Radio. Where the world of hip hop and sports live. It seems odd all the hoopla I'm hearing. That's right. Change the station, you're witnessing greatness. I heard. Far from basic, they're making a statement. Uh-huh. Better salute you in the presence of made men. Salute. Spitting the truth when the show was live too. Word. It's the odd cast on bars and hoops. That's you can go right. online or play it in your coops. I'm gonna just make sure 8 to 10 is the time you choose. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Spread love to steals in the crew. I see you on the top as we continue to move. Friday night. Yeah. You know, you heard him. Uh, as we continue to move from 8 to 10, the R cast is show. Tell a friend to tell a friend. This ain't your regular, we out here setting trends. From a list that never ends from trending topics, bars, you know we locked it. Hoopla from the latest hoop stars, you know we got it. We give you something to do on Friday nights. The R cast is show. Make sure to subscribe and like. You're now tuned in to Bars and Hoops Radio. <laughs> Where the world of hip hop and sports live. We got my man Tory G in the building, man, and we gonna talk a lot about everything that we talking about right yes, now sir. because yes, sir. Tory, he's a living testament to some of the stuff we talking about because if you guys saw the Supreme Team documentary, that black construction family that they was talking about built all the queens. That's that his grandparents. Right That's his grandfather yes. right there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So we could talk all about black businesses and all of that, but we're going to get to that part of it, all man. Right, but cool, but cool. before we get into all of that, man, Tory, man, you've been up here before, but you ain't never been on the r before. You know what all I mean? Right. So please introduce, introduce yourself to the people and let everybody know who you are <laughs> and where you're from, man. For real. Let's let me see if I got to raise your mic volume. Go ahead, Tory. One, two. Pull it up, pull it up, yeah. Just the big leaves now. There we go. There we go. Tiny, but here we go. There we go. There we go. That's what they do. That's right? what they do. Let's go. <laughs> you're in the podcast. You're, you're in the podcast now, now baby. Mic check. Yeah, what yeah, you want yeah, to yeah. do? Yeah. This, yeah, this, this draft night, baby. You Ooh, right the bubble, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. You oh, made it, baby. I'm feeling tingly. Let's go. I'm feeling tingly. <laughs> nah, so you can tell everybody about you. Where you from, man? Where you grew up and all that. Yes, sir. Listen, what's going on, everybody out there on the podcast <laughs> checking in? Hello, T. Already man. been on fire. Word the mother. Vegas. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, my name is Tory G. I'm out of St. Albans, Queens, New York. With Fanatic is the brand. Let's go. We've been doing this. I started with Fanatic like eight years ago on Facebook telling crazy stories about how me and my man used to be putting cars together when we was 14, 15 years old. Mm-hmm. Crash cars. Buying them for two, three thousand dollars to be a brand new car. And we just pieced that joint together. You know what I'm saying? Find a part here. My man, yo, I got this. I got that. Whatever way we could get them together, we got them together. No question. And built from Nissan Centris all the way up. To Lexus's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I started telling these stories, and people couldn't believe it. Like, what? What are you talking about? And you know, everybody thought we was drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> how y'all this young with these cars? You know what I'm That's saying? That's a fact. Yeah, I, I had some whips. We went above and beyond, and you know what I'm saying? State to state, cross country. You know what I'm saying? Um, rebuilding cars. All the way down to Atlanta, we be in Atlanta with Texas plates. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we from New York. So sure. it's a major story. Everybody listens to what I told them, some of it. So I hear you still. Let's 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 bring it back though. Like who inspired you to get into the cars the way that you did? There's one man that inspired me to get in the cars the way I did. His, his name his name is uh damn. I can't say his name. <laughs> Shout out to I know we talk about He's still outside, that, boom. I think I think I think <laughs> shout out I, to my man. I think he used to drive a purple Jetta back in the day. Man. Well, that's one of them. I can oh, say boy. yo, shout out to Seth Lover. Shout you know out to saying? Seth. Word. He was my peer. We were the same age. Seth, you know what I'm saying? He built Seth, some of the boy. nicest cars you ever seen. But the person that got us all into it was 
a person that he admires the same way. You know what I'm saying? No question. And um, he put us on in the car building. You know what I'm saying? He's still outside. Yeah, no face, no cake. <laughs> you know I mean? respect. <laughs> no name, no car. I said, building. yo, I'm doing this whiffing that thing. It's starting to big up. You know what I'm saying? Things is going up. It's getting big. I said, you going to get on camera? He was like, absolutely not, see? <laughs> but do your we thing. Respect. I love you. You know what I'm saying? We Keep that with fanatic thing going. I love it. I'm watching it. I see it. No question. From a different IP address. No question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you need a part or the car to start, I got you. Word. You know what I'm saying? Part yeah. or car to start. I got you. So it was a whole team of us doing that very young. And you know what I'm saying? We had the older cast that was like 85 lovers which is this guy I'm talking about. He had the, the original five series and the M3s and you know what I mean? All the way up to the Bentleys. Ooh. When they came out, you know what I'm saying? When did Bentleys come out, by the way? You know, I'm well, I mean, I, I'm telling you like this. When I got in the cars, I was real young. I was bu- I was already buying cars when I was... I couldn't put them in my, when my mother's casino. You know what I'm saying? They was hoopties. $50, but I took the $50. <laughs> I was buying them, buying them. Or knowing I'll buy motorcycles. I sell those, flip those. Word. Until we got to that point where we had some decent, we could throw some BBs. <laughs> you know Five stars. You know, what I'm you know you, Momo. You, 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 Word the Momo. He said no the BBs and the Momo. No license, and that was the fly shit. No license with a temp tag. You know we driving with no Ooh. license like this. Back oh, to back. Word up. And the person with you that got a license, this is suspended. So oh, you know, oh, 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 crazy. Fourteen. Word. Oh. Sunk in the seat. Fourteen. Mm. You know, a lot of people like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You, it's crazy, like, what the things that New York did. You know what I'm saying? Please respect it. And please, no disrespect to anybody in any other, other state. But even to lay in that seat back in the car like that, you know what I'm saying? That all came from here. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking talk. The reason what? why people lay their seat back like that is because it was to be seen, but to not be seen. Mm. To see everybody else before they seen you, mm. Jew getting money and all that. Like, Jew behind on the side of that pillar, nobody can really see, you, <laughs> but they see the whip. That's a fact. And they be like, "Yo, that, that's Johnny. That's Johnny joint." Yeah, they'll find out that way. The person who owned the car, the fly car, wouldn't even tell nobody. They'd be like, "Oh, you that ain't." It might be mine. I was rocking it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I was in that neighborhood that time. I don't know. You know what I mean? But that's what that whole laying that seat back come from. You know what I'm saying? To be seen, but to not be seen. That's mm. it. That way your body New in the York Jew right there. Your body in the front seat, your face is in the back. That's a fact. You like this. You know what I mean? Right. Shout out to Harlem. That's where it all began. That's a whole yeah. fact. Yeah. Pay the full. That's and all I'm you from seen. Yo, yes. So, so, Bird so, the mother. So, so, used to hit Harlem week up. Like yo, Harlem week. Come to your mic. Come to, crazy, come to the mic. Come to the mic. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, man. My name is DS with Fanatic. My man Tory G. Yes, sir. So I'm I'm here. No I'm question. Here. Support, man. No this question. Is what man. we do. Me and Tory, man. It feel like we've been vibing forever, man. No up. question. No question. Vibing forever, man. But yeah, I, I I know. I know. All the dudes he talking about, yo, I was around that. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy. We missed each other like but we was in the same circle. No we was in the same circle. We was doing the same thing. Right. And these dudes were probably looking at these dudes like, yo, sick right there. Because mm. some of the cards that I bring up, people are like, oh, this dude shit? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, this dude. It's like, oh, that's my man right there. I'd be like, yo, mm. that dude used to come to the shop because we had a shop. We had a shop on Merrick Boulevard, but that's a whole other story. I ain't even nah. talking about that right now. But that yo, man right there, he, he, he said, he I asked me to speak his name, and his name is Dean Major. That's my mm. dude right When it comes down to the car, Dean. What? Close, the shop was down close to the your side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say towards ISA, cross street from ISA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it was, it, was, it was by the bus terminal. That far down? Further down. By the bus yeah. terminal. Yeah. By, by, yeah, right, by, before, by right, right before our, right before our and Strauss. What is that? 106? That's 107. Yeah. 106, right across the street from the bus, the yeah. bus depot. Yeah. Yeah. That joint fixed yeah. the same day. No <laughs> Yo, the shop used to be open 24 hours. Yo, they looking for me. Can you fix this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yo, we, we have my man Drew in there the painting cars all night. That's what yeah. I'm saying. All night. I know. So, I was it, was, it was like crazy. This. It was so, crazy. So explain to everybody, man, the dynamics of the car culture and why is it so addictive? Everybody wants to be fly. You know what I'm saying? That's a tool. Without the car, they, which, which, what you got? You got clothes. 
Mm. You got the jewelry, but the wheels is it's, it's a status symbol. As soon as you put the wheels on, man, you you do your interior. It's a whole different. You need the wheel and the walking, man. Yo, it's it's, it's a whole different ball game. Good, yeah, Tiny. Oh. I don't hear you, Tiny. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Yeah, join the shot. Ah, man, it's shot. It's shot. And I'm I'm dead and all DJs now from coming here from now on. Yeah, we're going to do everything remote. All these all right. DJs, they done messed the equipment up. But anyhow, man. Hold on, God, Tiny. Try one more time, man. All right, well. Yeah, but but, yeah Tori, so finish what you were saying, man. So you're saying it's the status. And it's like you said, the wheels. Oh, tiny man, you know, we're gonna have to be, you know, what I mean, you might have to, yeah. All right, go ahead, Tori. Yeah, it's a status symbol, you know what I'm saying? Everything you ever looked at, I mean, we changed the world as far as like black people and cars, you know what I'm saying? We the ones who's throwing them wheels on it. Let me let me tell y'all like this, you know what I'm saying? Let me take you back. Like, we know that as far as like all the foreign car game really start really hitting like that 85 86 when the crack ever started bmw right mm-hmm. no the jetta the jet yes jetta started from the yeah, yeah don't disrespect the jetta. Jetta. Yeah. Disrespect shout out to the jetta, jetta. that, that jetta. whole bbs thing any rim with jetta on the car with the seats being piped out with 11 all that that all come from the cartel momos the momos that come from the cartel bars. in miami when niggas was going down what you mean the cartel mexicans no, I'm talking oh, about Colombians. Colombians. Oh, Colombians. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. You just, yeah, you, gotta, you know what I'm saying? And it also comes the Colombians. from the Italians. Because mm. they was piping out the seats first. But mm. when dudes was going to Miami and started getting those connects and everything, they seen how they was putting their cars together. So they brung that whole essence. And then they was just like, all right, we got the BBs, but we going to paint the BBs. You know what I'm mm. saying? But they was mm. going to Miami. Let's, listen to what's the name of um, the real Rick Ross, how they was driving yes. all the Cali going down there. So they was picking up their own weight and yes. they were seeing what these Colombians was doing because they, you know what I'm saying? Dudes coming from New York the same way. Like, Remember, they, come, yeah. they hopping out like with the Porsche with the fog lights. Word. Like, hold up. I want that. You know what I'm saying? Word. So that's how they got that, that whole car thing. You know, you watch Miami Vice and you see it right there. Yes, 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 yes. Because yes, yes, yes. they had the Ronalds, they had BBs on everything. As a kid, I'm watching this like, this is like when I go to Harlem or when I'm in projects on the south Facts. side of the mm. Harlem was the Mecca. Mm. Everybody Harlem came started. Harlem, mm. Harlem mm. week, like I said, Harlem week. We used to line up on that strip. 125th, we used to line up on that strip. We used to go up there. Right around now, August. Yo, because Harlem week going on right now. We used to, yeah, so everybody. Yeah. Everybody be in front of Adam Clayton Powell. The whole strip be crowded. Yeah. Flooded. Clean as car. Yeah, yeah, everybody right. from everywhere. Jersey. Especially the Harlem dude, Jersey, the, Queens, Bronx, Brooklyn, everybody, craziest stuff. And that was the, the illest part about it. it. Was like the thing about it was that it didn't even matter what car, as long as your car was clean. It was mm-hmm. clean. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like like now. It's like yeah. yo, if you ain't got. But back then, it didn't even matter. As long as your joint was clean, like yo, yep. son came through with. With the dog, but he had the Ellis <laughs> car I seen up there, and we left. We was like, "Yo, I'm done." This dude came through with a, a, a seven, a seven forty Volvo drop, yellow and black. I know who it was. T- yo, I was like, we was like, "Yo, we done." That was, that's it. That who was Big H. Yo, he was the only one in New York. Big H. Crazy. Big H. H. I heard he had a Rest lot of cars. A lot Who's of Big H? Talk Big H. Big H is from Hempstead. He's from Hempstead. Shout out to Tiny. You had you know to get Hempstead yeah. in there. No doubt. No, I got to tell you nah, what it is. He was the is. only one in New York with that yellow Volvo that got it cut off. He had it dropped. Yup, he had it he had, he had it cut. Like you said, he sent it to Miami. They had did whatever they did to it and brought it right back to New York. He was the only one running around. It was around. insane, bro. Had the crash bar on it and everything. They had yeah. the bar in the middle. Right. They had uh, the bar in the middle. And then when we used to go to the Greek Fest, you used to see the crazy car. Shout out yeah. to the Greek Fest. Yeah. Greek Fest, man. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, we taking it back I right went to now. one of the last the Greek, Greek Fest. The Greek what? Fest was another car. Oh, my God. To be bro. lined up on the Southern State yeah. and in the Metal Brook. <laughs> and, the, yo, just, it, was just, it was just insane, man. It Where's was just insane. I, it's a shame that they don't have fun like that. Nah, they nah, don't. Because it's too much jealousy. Yeah. Freak Neek. Yeah. Yeah. Freak Neek was crazy. We used to much, ride down a Freak Neek. Yeah. Like, yo, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not, that's what I'm saying. It's it was, too, it was, yeah, it because was crazy, too much jealousy. Yo. Back then, it was like, back then, it was like, 
you know what? Everybody leaving with a woman. Yes. So it didn't even matter. Nah. Everybody was leaving with a woman. It didn't, like you, even if turn your mic, babe. No, yeah. I'm saying like everybody was leaving with a woman. It didn't even matter. So it was like, yo, I got a fly car, money in my pocket. Because mm-hmm. what it was was long as you was clean. Nobody cared about none of that. Yeah. Long as you was clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. cause I remember, like, cause I was like when I I, I didn't I, I wasn't like a car dude, mm-hmm. but I love like I was on the West Coast, right? When I went to the West Coast, because mm-hmm. my dentist was out there, so I had to go to I had to go to Vegas. Shut up, Vegas. I had to go. Dentist is all yeah, so I had to. Go to <laughs> Everybody else got. Yo, I gotta jump on, on a flight. That's, to go that's to how I got dentist. my. That's how I got my name. Boy. I got my name like that because I used to have to go to the dentist in, in, in Vegas. So whenever I would go and come back, my teacher would be like, you know what I mean, Ali Vegas. That's how I got my. You know what I mean, that's how. I got wow. Shout out to Vegas. Yeah, so I would go out there, and my dentist had the eight fifty champagne. Champagne, like custom joint, and we would something we would go, we would go all the way to the we would go to the Clipper game. So we would go from Vegas, riding through the desert in that joint, like, and he would be playing Phil Collins, and Mm. that's when it was like that's how that's how that's how I love (laughs) Phil Collins. And now he would be playing the other joint. He was playing. He'd be playing the roof is leaking. And the wind is howling joint, you know Yo, what I mean? And he'll be playing that joint, and he'll be like this. Boom. He's like, yeah, Yo, you want to drive? Because it's all desert. You want to drive? I'm like, why not? Whoa. And that's when I was that's like. another type of car. I right was like, there. I love car. LL was, shout out to L. He was the first one in the hood with that, with that, with that 850, that black. He was the first one. That's what I'm saying. It was yeah, another guy with him that had the same time. Shout out to George Wallace Jr. Shout out, yeah, the the shout out to George Wallace. Shout out to George Wallace. Shout out to George Wallace. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was like, man. Word. When I was seeing that, you know, I seen, I came back, I said, he had the 850 champagne. Mm-hmm. You know, but then this, this is before people was getting that, that champagne color. Mm-hmm. Yo, we had mm-hmm. a couple of those. He had man, that champagne. I was like. I ain't even never seen that one yet. He had the 850. Word? Yeah, dentist, yeah, we dentist. had a couple of those, yo. A he had the 850 snitches. champagne. We used to be up top of those shits, man. It was it was different. It was but different. I think in the seats. I was like, yo, dudes ain't understand. Like, yo, how are these dudes doing it? I had yeah. two of them in my garage. Which ones? Two eight fifty. They wasn't mine. Yo, that car right there. <laughs> well, that, it wasn't stolen. Yo, that either. car was before. That car was before its time. It was yeah. so because it was so. The thing about it, it was so. It's still hard, right? Because now. it's so beautiful, right? It's like. Because the reason why it's so beautiful is because it could it, it's like it's like a it could fit like in the, in the midst of any car. Yes. Yeah. It had that yeah it had that because it had that Porsche feel. When you get in there, it had that Porsche. Muslim in that Porsche feel where it's like that 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 sleek lean yeah. feel where you just like you ain't have, in that joint you ain't even have to lean the seat back. Cause you already was you like you already felt like you were in shape. Yeah, like you already got in there like that. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. My question to you, right? You had eras, you like you had time periods of the car to get. Can you remember every year what car was the car to get or the car to be driving in? Really? Starting from talk about it. Starting boy. from. Let's say the Jetta or the Maxima. Yeah, he I said the Maxima. I, I, I do a TikTok page for right. uh, the car game. And it tells you all the years. I tell everybody all the years what car was what, what was the hottest, what was the hottest. So I got, let's go back in time right quick with this one real quick. Yeah. Right? I'm too, too far. Mm. I got in an argument with a couple of older cats, you know what I'm saying? Right. Some 85 lovers. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it was just his personal opinion, but I was trying to tell him that the 500 SEC coupe, right. Mercedes Benz, was the hottest car of the 80s. If you had that, that was the top. But he was saying that it was the 635. The 635. The BMW. Right. right. The, BMW, the coupe. Right. And I was like, yeah, that was the hottest joint. But if you had that 500 SEC, you were saying something. You got Halle Berry babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know what I like? You know what I, mean? I love. That's what I was so crazy. Like I doubt. Like so, the A fifty was like my. That's like one of my favorites. 
But like when it came to it's so crazy because when it came to like Benz's, I always loved the 190. But the 190, you know what? It's it's dope that you hit on that on that topic right there because I try to explain to the younger cats that you got a little baby Benz right now. It wasn't like the 190 back then. The 190 was hitting hard. Yeah, you was the That's man. If you had That's what I'm saying because my man, child to my man sees my man, my man sees because he had the, the he had he had what's the name joint? He had Pappy Mason joint, the champagne joint with the red seats. Mm. Like in that joint, that 190 Benz was like I was like. Cause remember that's what that's what um what's the name in them was riding it you yeah, know what I mean yeah. like that's what Pablo Escobar and them was riding that's they right. was riding in the one ninety because see unlike the like the eight fifty had the lean already the one ninety had the sit up mm-hmm. where you was just like it was it was so crazy because it was so boxed it mm-hmm. felt militant a little bit yeah. you know what I mean it was mm-hmm. like it was like it was like when they when you get in the G wagon, it's like they took the one ninety and just put it in the Jeep. Like <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's how it feels but, when I'm in the G. When I'm in the G wagon, it feels like they mm, just took the one ninety and lifted it because it gets that same box feel with militant. So that Acura Legend never had a time. That's my what? favorite. That's one of yes. my. Yes. Oh my. Yeah. That's that's my favorite. Favorite. Acura Go Legend. Oh, that Acura Legend. That yeah. Acura Legend. Was that's before, the Go so. Legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. loves the, the 91 to 95. Right. Well, had a white, right. one, a white one, a white one. I had a gold one. A photo of gold white joint so. with the sand leather. <laughs> but I'm with old. With the on it. I'm a little, you had a Donna's one. Oh my God, it was crazy. I'm I'm a little older, right? You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that old. But I come from the time, you know what I'm saying? When I, that 80, 1988, them 1987, 86, 87, them legends came out. And the first time I ever seen one, I was like on South Road on 160th Street. Mm-hmm. Well, they had five stars, and that's when it was getting money over there. And they just called that place the Drug Infested Projects in New York. <laughs> it's a whole fact. And I seen that joint sit on the corner. And that's the first time I ever seen this was like 86. Huh. Talking to the mic. The so 86 yeah. winner. That's like when the car just came out. Right. And I tell you, out of all of them, out of every one of them besides that three series, that was my favorite one. 86 87 Acro Legend Coupe, but right. everybody liked the other one because it was more, it, it, it looked it, better. It had, yeah, it had a better shape to it, right? It had a better shape to it, right? But it had a better shape I know it. that's the thug machine, right? Absolutely. Of all times, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> they, if you could step to that three series that convertible and all that, because all of them things was expensive back then, even right. still. So but all you had thing. to have was 30,000 and you was super chilling in the whip back then, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Now yeah. you better have 250. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, then it was like, like, and then like the old, the six hundred, the old six hundreds, five and six hundreds gonna always be yeah legit. The big body joints. Oh, the, the big like because I've been yeah, Uncle Hev, Uncle Hev, Uncle Hev would always come and get me in the. He had the black joint, bulletproof joint, so mm-hmm. the windows only came down a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going mm-hmm. to school in that joint, like mm-hmm. Uncle Hev, like yo, hey, go ahead, we about to go on the road. We we'll take this, have this for the week. I'm like, I'm wow. going to nice. school in that joint, like. Yo, now my windows only come down halfway because <laughs> yeah. it's so thick. Like yeah, that joint yeah. was crazy. Word, man. So, so we know all about the whips and everything, man. But give people some insight on what Tori was into. Well, the whips was always first, but what else did you get into in regards like music and, and, and stuff like that, man? Tell us about your endeavors with that. I got in the music pretty heavy. I, I, I was in New York or whatever, playing around. I was young at that time. When I yeah. got to Atlanta, it, I always wrote. I always was writing from when I was young. Mm-hmm. So I started bumping into different people. You know, it's a music town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I started bumping into different people, and I'm, like, working at this place. And a dude, I looked at this dude like, damn, this dude looked mad familiar. I just can't pin it. I was like, yo, <laughs> you cut your hair off? He was like, yeah. I was like, I recognize who you are. You YZ, the return the only one. You know what I'm saying? YZ. Wow. <laughs> so he was actually buying a car. But I seen him because he was there like a couple of days or something like that. Yeah. So I noticed him and he's like, yeah. I said, what you doing down here? But I heard on the radio that he lived down there. And he started a new record label and all this. And he was looking for artists. So I was like, yo, I heard you down there. I heard you on the radio and all that. You looking for artists? He was like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. To, I got a record company called Reservoir Records. It's that a third. I was like, word. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with a couple of books. 
Ayun ba? Yung mga yan lang. Right? You know what I'm saying, babe? I'm, I'm taking them off for us. This is our opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what? He was hot back in the day. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He was, he was hot. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know, and I started learning with me. I was like, "Yeah, he's like, I'm, a, I'm gonna, I want to build a group. I want to make a group. I want to get some hot MCs. You in it?" So we got this other dude from Jersey. His name was, um, his name was a uh, Sean Pender. Mm. That's Storm P's cousin. That's who taught Storm P how to rap. Get out of here, right? So he was from Jersey. He from over there, like East Orange. Yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. And it was another guy from Jersey. He was nice. And this other kid that happened to be his brother, he was nice. He's all in above the rim, the movie, like all through it. I'm gonna show you the guy, his yeah, little yeah. but he's on the soundtrack. He's on the soundtrack. I yeah. think he might have two songs on. There. Yeah. But like I said, he was hot back in the day. He was on. Facts. He had his own record label at 17. I didn't he know. He signed I didn't PRT, Pro Righteous Teachers. Wow. So that song that was banging like that. That was he was incurring that bread off of that. He was getting money off of that. So and he also found Most Def. That wow. I didn't know. Wow. Yeah, he also put Most Def on. Most Def was his artist. But so I was continuing on with him, moving on with him, whatever like that. I was already doing my own thing with other people. I was down there with a bunch of Philly dudes. Yes. They put a group together. They wanted me to be in. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> whatever way we gonna get in. But we, we did a hundred songs. God wow. damn. We did a hundred songs, and um, that's back when if you do something like that, Universal be like, "You're signed." Yeah. But it's fourteen, y'all. We giving y'all seven thousand dollars signing bonus, and the other dudes are younger. They understand that they you just need to get in. Yeah. And they didn't want to sign a deal because they was looking at the money. They looking at seven thousand dollars. They think they supposed to get a million dollars. You know, facts. But they don't know how the game work. But I was a little older than them. I'm showing them like, yo, don't write the hook like that. Don't say that at the end of the shit. It don't sound right. Yeah. And we tighten everything up. And shout out to Ludacris because he was playing our stuff on the radio. Shout out to Luda. Wow. But I was with Z for a while. But <clears throat> Shaq Shaquille was looking for artists to sign. There he wanted go. to take us over. Yeah. When he heard the joint, because Shaquille loved Z. Yeah. And he was like his inspiration to do what he do. Yeah. Because they from the same town. Yes, indeed. So we were supposed to sign with Shaquille with uh with Shaquille. I didn't even know his label was still open. I didn't even know. I mean, he still had the record label and all that. He said he had did five albums with Red Man. We never heard him yet. Wow. But yeah. So he bought a house. Shaquille bought a house. And this is during the lockout. What was that? 98, 99, y'all? 98, 99. That's when the Knicks went to the finals. So Twism. first one. Twism. Twism Records. Yeah. Yes. So he said, yo, I just bought a house in McDonough. Nas had just bought the house out there. Yeah. So it was probably close to him. Yeah. He was like, yo, I'm going to build a studio in there. I want all y'all to come in. We're going to sign. I got the lawyers. And the third, I was like, oh, shit, that's it. This is it. <laughs> Fuck Z. Like, we was Jack. Well, I'm going to air him out. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. Not to. Uh, he didn't want to go forward. I think he didn't want us to, you know what I'm saying? Move with, a sh- with, with Shaquille. Of course not. That's the money train. But he, he, he had to. He, he had everything. We were signed and everything. Everything was legit. I had my lawyer. Shout out to John Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, he, Shaq was like, yo, call me in the morning. Let's set all this stuff up. I mean, um, yeah, he said, Z, call me in the morning. Let's set all this stuff up. But he, was, he loved him like he was his father. He'd be like, yo, this is my pops. You don't understand. And he wasn't fronting. But he didn't, um, pardon me, he didn't want to sign. Wow. Shakir, Shakir. Wow, man. And just it, it, it dead it all. But um the thing that why I didn't like about YZ, which you might know what a lot of artists would do, they used to be popping. They they they, they catch dudes like it was hot or whatever, like that a Luke Woman might be going in that area, like yo, this dude is gonna be crazy. Flash to him. And what they do is they record the music and put it in a time capsule. Uh, oh. so they released he called me years and years later, like yo, overseas. In Europe, they want all this retro music. Mm. But he wasn't calling me like to, to tell me, like, oh, we're going to go out there, we're going to do shows and all that, because I don't care at this point. Yeah. But he was calling basically to get my consent. Wow. Slime ball. Slime ball. And a bunch of other totally. And I bumped into other people that was like, yo, 
Yeah, I'm dealing with this dude right here. I'm like, yo, man, listen, just pay attention to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we was there. We was there from different angles. And then I had got to deal with Water Blow. Yes, Water Blow Records. But they, they, uh, that was like doing my own thing. Shout out to a dude, man. Huh? I didn't even never get to meet him, but I didn't even know it was from Queens. I always wow. thought they was Harlem dudes because he had, yeah. um, what's his name? My son. My son. My son. Yep. Yeah, J Mills. J Mills. Yep. Yep. So Shout out to Vic. They couldn't make Shout a high record, out. but they got oh some God. money from Universal to sign seven yes. acts. Yeah. They had got like twenty million dollars to sign seven acts. Shout for- out. Right, I'm saying, yeah, no, but that's when yeah. Universal was handing that bread out. They was handing that bread out because wow. I was had to deal with them twice now. Universal was handing that wow. bread out, man. The first was, time with the 14, would you say because Kadar was over there, so right? Once Kadar and them was over there, it's how my man Garnett and all of them was over there, you know what I mean? They was my man Garnett and them was over there, Kadar, they was handing them checks out, like, yo, yeah, this yeah. what we doing, you know what I mean? But what they did, the dude who had one of blow, wherever they at now. Like I said, I ain't know this from Queens. They came to Atlanta and they was looking for artists in Atlanta. And I was on the radio because we doing payola. Yeah. So we spinning. We on the radio at 12 o'clock. At payola. You know what I'm saying? I had a dude shout out. You know what I'm saying? My man, I, from the South Side. Let's go. 142. Let's go. He was getting it. Yeah. He heard me and he seen all the tribulations I was going through with the music. Like, yo, yeah. you hot. I'm going to put my money behind you. And that's what he did. We started Hard Hat Entertainment. Yeah. And he happened, you know what I'm saying? When they came down and listened, heard the song, and I'm gonna let y'all go after that. Yeah. They heard the song playing on the radio every day. It was like, who's this? They got spins. They getting spins every day. We in this too. Oh, that's such and such hard. The num- numbers on the record. We had wax. So he looked at the number. They got the number. Called them. So he's like, yeah, what's going on? We had your artist, the Low Marshallers, or whatever like that. That's. Yeah, yeah, that's my artist, whatever. I'm the owner of the label, whatever like that. So Tell him your name again, talking, kid. The Low Marsh. These dudes is like Luke's. Um. Lieutenants for praying. You see how everything yeah, is connected? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So they knew each other like that. So they mm-hmm. it was easy. Boom. Came through. Boom. So everything, they gave us a little advance or whatever like that. Like, yeah, it's over the on. Uh-huh. But when they got the big money or whatever, they were supposed to get, they just, I heard they took off. Yeah. Nobody never really seen them again type shit. I know uh, I didn't. I never even met them, but I know we had the deal. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Crazy. Yes. So, what's your status now? Where are you? Like, where you at now with your music? Oh, music, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see the shit. That music baby. will make you kill somebody. But that's a whole fact. I mean, I done pulled the gun, cocked it back, like sat there for a second, like I'm about to end my whole life right now. But I'm not gonna kill myself. Mm-hmm. Somebody about to go, and right. you know what I'm saying? It, it, it got like that. You get so deep into it like that, and then and then you go to the studios, and niggas be stealing your style. Right. Ooh, niggas be that. running and with your with your. I'm I, I in the studio this whole time, and I'm gonna let y'all go after this. Nah, talk yeah. about it. This is your <laughs> interview. We're gonna yeah, talk listen, about listen, it. Listen, this is your interview. Listen, you guys, let's listen, go. You got me here. I'm a cool Where's the mother? I already know. I know you, you could know. tell her how you tell it. I'm tell it. Tell yeah. it. No matter like it don't matter how big the name is or whatever, you could tell it because I know how let's it go. go. Okay. <laughs> Z <laughs> called me right years later, like yo, I'm doing this record. But he's not signed to a major label. Now he's trying to do something on his own. Yeah. Why is he, y'all? So I said, yeah, I don't care. I ain't doing nothing. I come over there and drop a verse. At this at this point, I, we got books like this for any beat to come on. You tell me what you want me to say. What The, the way the song is supposed to go. I got a verse for it. Mm-hmm. All right? We prepared. This is years into it. You know what I'm saying? It's professional shit, right? Facts. We really ready. One day, he was like, yo, I'm doing a song about Pittman. He did a whole album about... Y'all look it up online. It was a dope album, but I don't, you know, he's, he's, he's more native tongue. Yes. And people didn't receive it like that, but he didn't do enough interviews for everybody to understand. Listen, I'm doing this like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he put this album out, whatever, like nothing to push it, nothing behind it. He ain't had no college radio, nothing behind it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he was doing, but I went to go record the song with him. And we recorded, at this, I think these dudes name was Phil Greens. Mm-hmm. Country mm. Greens or Phil Greens, and they are the dudes who did a lot of Tupac stuff. That I didn't know. So when I came in there, the whole studio was like wood. You know what I'm saying? All over the place, wood walls. It was dope. It had mad platinum plaques on the wall. I'm looking like Tupac. 
I'm looking like, oh, huh. So another dude was there, and this dude who did like, um, I get high for Styles P. Yes. He's an Ohio nigga. Mm -hmm. He's not from New York. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is nice with the beats. Yeah. So after I did my verse in there, whatever, it was another dude standing there. He had glasses on real thick, but you could look and tell that he was like, <laughs> I was like, something is with this guy. He like looked like he, like he just watching your mouth. Mm. So, but I didn't really take it like that. So when we left, they was like, yo, Z walked outside, smoked a cigarette or whatever. They was like, this our number, call. <laughs> Drive around the corner. When he leave, come back. Wow. So I knew I was kind of hot a little bit. These niggas is recording Pac. Mm -hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I bounced out, went around the corner. They got number old school, $100,000 shit in the yard. And I think they was really Cali dudes that was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I came back in there. It was like, yo, we got big spit. I said, don't hit that record button, though. Mm. But I spit. I was in there just hit, hit him with like a book or two. Back and back <laughs> dudes in there like this. But he hearing my style. Mm. He hearing my style. You know what I'm saying? And he never heard that before. And it's real easy to do. But I picked up. I made up my own style. I got my mm. trademark. Yeah. Aha! Right? Yeah. Everybody got their own thing. Yeah. Next day, I know months and months later, whatever, I see Z like, yeah, hey, that dude that was in the studio, you know, I'm telling you, his name is El Dorado Red. Remember El that Dorado name? Red, yes. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, check his album out. But Z don't even hear it. He's not even paying attention and knowing that that's my trademark that mm -hmm. this dude is doing all over this album. I'm like, this nigga is a crap. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't hear that? <laughs> all right. No disrespect. Storm P tried to do the shit too. Wow. I was like, nigga, what are you doing? You come here. You already signed. Yeah. You already with 45 King and all that. Why Facts. are you trying to sound like me? Nah, because the cousin is my man. We were yeah, in the group yeah, together and yeah. he was doing it. And then he'll say, he would say it, but then he'd say my name and stamp it. Yeah. Cause, but that was my man anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I was like, yo, why are you rapping like that? He yeah. was like, Nah, I was my cousin. He was doing it, so I wanted to keep the continuity. Come on, man. Don't do that, man. Wow. Do the Jay-Z, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you see. Yo, yo, you right? know, <laughs> that's what I, yo, this, yeah. this is what, this is the cloth that he's cut for. Yeah, nah, fact. He's dead to be, he yeah. don't want nobody biting this style. And he nah. wasn't trying to sound yeah, like that's... anybody else. That's New and York. Today's music right now. Everybody, everybody sound, sound the same. Like everybody everybody that's been over. That been all over. You used to get beat up if you said you get yeah, tomatoes thrown at you. Sound you sound like, like, you right. sound like somebody else. You front that time. My kids that. be like, yo, this is that one. I'm like, yo, they sound just that's alike. Right. Yeah. Like so. everybody. But sound you know what? Alike. It's not even. You know the crazy part about it is it's not even the fact that they like. It's not even the fact that they sound alike. They all yeah. look alike. Yo, yeah. Thank you. So yes. what I'm saying yeah. is like you used to could identify everybody with even just a look you know what i'm saying like like but now they, everybody looks the same yep. like you know what i mean you'd yeah. be able to have a thousand people on stage and it didn't even matter who was rhyming you even if you couldn't were. tell who you knew yeah mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying yeah. you knew because everybody just had different styles yeah you know what i mean and then after a while it was just like you know what this dude getting paid off for that style, so let me bite that stuff. That's yeah, let fact. me go so, with that. Was he, let me go with what, what he doing. Was he successful in biting your style? It's like, because I don't know who, what's his name again? El Dorado, Dorado Red? Red? No. I, I don't know. So, so anybody nah, that bit your style, was they successful in doing what they were doing? I'm going to tell you, I'll get even deeper with y'all. Right. Let's go. Let's get it. When I signed the Wonder Blow Records, which was an entertainment company, mm-hmm. I also would uh, produce. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. You know he's gonna so get to that. I had this little machine, right? You a DJ? Mm -hmm. You know machine. Mm -hmm. You've been around machines, of course. It was called DR5. It's a little you bullshit. Talking machine. to the mic, cause yeah, you gotta, can't hear me you like that. Nah, yeah, you got it's, it's called a DR5, right? Of course, DR5, right? Yeah, yeah, DR5, yeah, right? Yeah. That's what we do. So this is a little, this is a little beat machine. My man gave it to me, like y'all. My man, I had this in the crib, brand new. So I, I mastered the machine. Yeah. It's a little small machine, but yeah. I was like, damn, when I get to the studio, I'm going to have to like triple track this joint because it don't sound powerful enough. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I was doing beats on it or whatever. And I had those kind of beats with it. 
you know my drums is harder and everything but it sound like more like spaced out like out of space type joints yeah right. and my man Taji, shout out to Taji. he shout like, out to Taji. yo make the beat sound like everybody else but you know where everybody want to hear already <laughs> i said nah that's the whole thing we got to cut our own grain into this that's right. a fact so boom we was going to studio recording i'm doing joints with it whatever like that so the label i was signed to the entertainment company let me say entertainment yeah. company right yeah. it wasn't a major label they the lawyer was little john's lawyer which was little john's cousin oh, oh god right Stop all time. tv tea time. <laughs> you know <So> that <laughs> i came there one time i'm like yo Lil John was going on. He used to be a DJ in one of the clubs down there. Like, yeah. he didn't start growing them dreads. Real talk, he didn't start growing them dreads until Lost Boys kept constantly doing shows down there. And he, then he started looking like the Lost Boys to me. Facts. Facts. I'm going to keep it real with you. I was down Facts. there for when it all started. Now, we're going to get to that. We ain't even, we gonna, we ain't finishing New York. We're going to get to Atlanta. Right. Where's the mother? So, it's a story today. You know, I asked Lil John, like, yo, since he was there, he seen, you know what I'm saying? My label got the same lawyer. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I got my record, you know, you, could you spend it in the warehouse tonight or whatever? He was like, I don't play that New York shit. Wow. I was like, but I just heard you playing New York shit. He's like, I don't play that New York shit. He so he money. had a song out. It wasn't hitting like that, but he they kept trying to push it because he had connect to the radio his own his his um, cousin, uncle, yeah, cousin yeah. had connects to the radio so you kept hearing and hearing it it was it wasn't popping like that even they wasn't going for it and they was looking for something to be like let's latch on to this and push atlanta because they was like yo yeah our energy all of our energy came down there from new york from california from chicago from detroit yeah. everybody is coming down from the freak nick thing and staying there yeah. nope. and not going home like yo what's crazy out here let's make it freak nick every weekend <laughs> and that's, what, that's what we did uh -huh. that's what we did and yeah. then brung the energy down there and they the style the way you dress the whole nine yards that came down there and it stuck down there and we were just out there you know the, the fashion the, whips, year, the lingo this? what year was this Oh, uh, 90. No, what year was this? He's doing the interview, oh, man. Oh, my bad, my bad. What year was this? This <laughs> 90, was... 93, 94. There we go. That's when it all really started. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Before Outcast. Wow. They wasn't popping like that yet. So, so now you tell me all this. A lot of this I didn't know. But in our own neighborhood, where we from, we got the tribe. We got L. We got all these dudes that was in position that could have put niggas on. None of them. Tip, Quince, nobody seen the talent or the potential and tried to line you up? I guess they heard that was what, what I was doing down there. Because when I was home, I was just like playing around. I wasn't really serious about it. Mm -hmm. But me and Quince caught a deal. Just, just playing around, we caught a deal. Consequence. Me and Consequence. And this other kid named Hakeem, we was in a group together called Niggas from Linden. <laughs> and we caught a deal from what a plate some dudes called Candy Records. And I was like, I'm not signing in that. This Candy is like Records? all Death Squad time and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that. Man. So they got mad, was crying and everything. Like, you know, they was we was young. Man. Oh, come on. Ah. They rolling around on the ground and everything. We got a deal. I was like, <laughs> I'm not signing nothing called Candy. I'm the oldest one. So I'm like, no. Nah. I'm not signing to that. You know what I'm saying? Candy record. How the fuck I'm supposed to rap that? Ah! I'm going to talk tough Your here. Mama. Stomping my chest. <laughs> my mother, I'm a nigga from then. I smack the shit out of you. Child the candy record. Child the candy record. <laughs> I'm a nigga from Linden, <laughs> from Linden <laughs> I'm my mother. I'm smack to sit out you if you look at me twice. Right, right. Candy records, we good. Your name is Jolly Ranch. Right. 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 And I had the gorillas ready to go with us every day. And they were like, yo, shh, what's the name of the label? Candy records. They were like this. <laughs> Going back in the house. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> If another nigga call me a right. lollipop again, right. <laughs> we might as well be PM Dawn. If we were PM Dawn, we was good. <laughs> nigga, we fighting every day. <laughs> I said, Yo, every I'm night I got to prove my love. Uh, 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 right, right. <laughs> oh, man. So, so, 
Yeah, let me get back go to ahead, the other ahead, joint. Ahead, That's ahead, even crazy. <laughs> and I mean, motherfucker might not believe me, but I, I have no reason to lie, right? So, oh, shit. Little John heard the music. He heard my beats. Right? He heard my beats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now, all of a sudden now, his sound changes. Oh. So you listen to that first song that Lil John had, and then you listen to his sound. Now he used different drums, and he had better drums because he had a better drum machine, which was probably the MPC. Yes, but he used the same sounds. He found those sounds and incorporated it to what he's doing, and that's what turned him into who he is. Wow, crazy! My man's ain't want to believe it. I'm like, yo, he stole the whole sound. That whole Atlanta sound from that whole crunk sound come from my my DR five. Wow. Right there, that's heavy. That's crazy, man. Years and years, I had my man in the car. And we sitting down, they playing all little John joints from the beginning, all the way to the end. And he looking at me like, damn, they about to cry. Like I told you, it might have took you 15, 16 years to realize it. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. Yeah, that's why you gotta well, stick to your gut. Man. Are you still producing beats? Are you still? I making still do. I'm yeah, for, still... for fun. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a student of steals. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. I done threw drum machine like, yeah. dude, you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like like you, I don't know, man. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Your team's I'm like, yeah, I can't him. fuck I'm with that. I'm trying to get him. Oh, no. We're going to do We're going to do a whole project. You know, trust me. Everything going to come together, man. Playing. We oh. doing a whole project. Yeah, Word them up. Play, play, play. Uh, now, we doing that whole, we doing a whole project. But What's that singing at the heart? <laughs> there we you go, hear that heart, the repeat. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yo, sure. <laughs> we supposed to been doing that five years ago. Oh, Every man, year, say go. the same thing. Yeah, we're going to do it next year, next year, next year. <laughs> I mean, he's a Nick fan. Oh, <laughs> it's always next year. So, <laughs> so. My God. Now that you in Atlanta, man, everything that come with Atlanta, you know, I, you know, you know, we up here, we seeing snow on the bluff and all of this. I was a BMF and all that. Did you ever get to witness all of that stuff when you was out there for the time period that you was out? I there? was out there. I've you know I've been going down there since in 1985. Wow. I was flying from Continental Airport. I mean, um, from Newark Airport down there, fifty five dollars a ticket. Ten years old. <laughs> yeah. I knew all a lot of them dudes already. Oh, word. Yeah. I know a lot of them dudes already, you know, pretty can and all that was my man, you know what I'm saying? At the attic crew. And all of them was used to be over there in Latonia and all that on that side. Uh, their parents was getting a little money, getting better jobs, and they'll move on to that's the east side, Latonia, Stone Mountain, all that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wasn't in Atlanta like Shout that. Shout out to Smokes. Word. Shout out to Smokes. He smokes. Word. My man. But yeah. I was down there early, young. So I mean I used to go down there and take record the tapes yeah. from BLS and all that. Yeah. And I, they be dying for me to come down in the summer. Now I used to come down there and oh, have a pile of tapes and just sit there and let them listen. They didn't know who Biz Markie was. They used to what? be like, it was like, <laughs> they was looking at aliens, like literally what? like looking at no, aliens. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they was paying it like, yo, and they, they respect that. And I still know these people like, yo, this dude used to bring us down music that they wasn't even playing on the radio. Or he wasn't playing no rap out there yet. Not like that. Nah, I'm wow. telling you, it was so you know crazy because that's when the tour, when the tour kicked off, it kicked off in the land, right? Mm. Which now, one? Which all? This was um this one we did the Lyrics Lounge on. All right, right. Pull the mic up, right? Pull the mic up. Yeah, yeah. This when we did the Lyrics Lounge on. The first show was in the land. You know what I mean? And we like, like, oh shit, like you know what I mean? Like, I mean, me, I had no fear. Like, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna say like, I'm nice, nigga. I don't give a fuck mm-hmm. if you get it or not. <laughs> I'm nice. And we gonna do it how we do it. You know what I mean? And um. And it was crazy because when I went to I went to the store and I'm like, I'm like, yo, I gotta get my fitted. I'm like, I need my, I mean, I'm like, I need a Yankee or Met fitted. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy because and, and, and Poe Sean to tell you the same. Sean always he always he always acknowledged it. And what happened was they didn't have my size in the fitted. You know what I mean, the only fitted they had was that they had an eight. You know what I'm saying? They had an eight, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I just need a fitted. And I had to join on. I had the, the big fitted. And I went on stage. And we murdered that shit. You know what I mean? And then, and it was crazy. After that, I just started rocking it like that. And we was in Miami. And the nigga Poe was like, he was like, yo, why you got that 
big ass hat on, man. And I'm yeah. like, I was like, I just started wearing that shit like that because then everything fit under it. You know what I mean? The do rag, everything fit comfortably. Yeah. I ain't have no red mark or nothing. And then he started wearing shit like that. And every oh. uh, until his time, he always he won't shy away from it and be like, he'll let you know like, like nah. He'd be like, nah, Vay, Vay got me on that wearing a big fitted. You know what I mean? I stopped. You know what I mean? But it was only because. Um, that was the hat I had for the run. You know what I mean? That was like, like an epidemic, so no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he was just like, that shit was just, it was just by mistake. They just ain't have no, you know what I mean? No fitted for me. You know what I mean? It was, they had Atlanta fitted, but they ain't had no Yankee fitted. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, but I had to get the what's name drink with the A, and I would, because I didn't get to the store that first night. But then I got to the mall the second night, you know what I mean? The second day, mm. and I had got the, um, that's when they had the, um, the Braves joint. Mm. The old Braves, mm -hmm. the, the lowercase a. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Was like, damn. Yeah, and that's when I was just like, now, nah, now morning. I mean, that's just so like Poe Sean. Sean will always say that he always acknowledged that. He no like, you know, Vague always was. Vague was the first one with the big hat. You know what I mean? Mm. He started rocking and shit like that. Mm -hmm. you know? and that's why I fuck with him because he always acknowledged it. You know what I mean? No question. No question. So to bring it back full circle, T. Yeah. Like we started before we started the interview. I mentioned the whole Supreme Team documentary. They showed your family in there, man. Like, Definitely. Explain to everybody what your family really did for Queens, like the landmarks and things that they put their hands on. You know what I mean? Explain to everybody how deep your family's roots is in Jamaica Queens. If it wasn't for them, no minorities would be, do, be doing any kind of construction in America. Mm. They the ones who broke that barrier. My grandfather, which is L.B. Griffin, mm -hmm. was knocking white men out in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. Knocking them out like, yo, you're going to pay me. I'm going to do this job. You're going to pay me. If you don't, I'm taking the money out your pocket. Wow. So <laughs> they knew he the wasn't coalition. playing. He, he, he's the starter of the coalition. Oh, the get word. Word. oh, Also, uh, from, if you know who Jerry Bass is. Yeah, of course I know Jerry his Bass. His father, my grandfather, was rocking together with the coalition. Get out of here. Jerry Bass' father is, is a lot of people don't know, he's one of the, he, he is the creator of manpower. Word. That's what kind of money they got. Yeah, now nah, Bass is Bass is that's heavy. worldwide, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. facts. They labor. Yeah, you get paid every day. You know facts, what facts. So shout out to Jerry Bass. The Bass family. family. Yeah, shout out to Dunkirk. So, Word the mother. Um, as far as like places that I know, like uh, as you see in the documentary, they all of that excavation they did for the whole Jamaica station, all that from the beginning. That's back in the sixties. Facts. Nineteen seventy three. If you watch the documentary, the Cream Team documentary, you see that whole riot happen over that little boy getting that killed. That was crazy. Yeah, that riot also happened because they locked my father. Oh, so this is my father's father, LB Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they locked my father because they were saying that he didn't have the correct license to operate that vehicle. It, wow. these, these are big machines. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. grandfather. Uh, there's two documentaries coming out. It's already one done. Yeah, and. Uh, Master Pill picked it up. Shout out to Nas. Word. Shout out to my cousin Mark Griffin. Yes. He put that together. And um the reason why my cousin was on and the whole family is on it because he is part of the Prem team. He's part. Yeah. He was with them like yeah. that back then. Yeah. Your uncle. He just wasn't on stage when they was doing yeah. that part. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He outside holding it down. So he knew them. And, and yeah. you know, um, you know. You know, Prince know my grandfather very well, my father very well. Yeah. All of them. It was, it's right there. It was yeah, 160th yeah. and South Road between Union Hall and 160th. No question. It's with the, the officers that we had. Millions and millions and That's millions crazy. of dollars for equipment. He got on through uh, Donald Trump's father. Wow. Donald Trump's father put him on and then, you know, they kept giving minorities such as like the italians all the construction work mm -hmm. all right so after you know what i'm saying they like yo we got to give it to somebody else that don't look right so it's a lot wow. to it like you know like you're dealing with the mob you know we're gonna kill your whole family it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a big deal yeah but he changed the world man he's in wow. the smithsonian museum wow. down in washington dc yeah. um Cimitat. uh they did all the excavation for sean burke uh, all that uptown Harlem, 
Wow. All the trucks, all the machines, all that was painted red, black, and green. Him and my father was, you know what I'm saying? There was Garvey Ice. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's why that, that Rock on Farmers Boulevard Talk is about painted it. red, black, and green. Because they were Garvey Ice. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's so heavy. They were running through things. He made it, he made a change. He changed the world. But you know what I'm saying? Like further on down the line, you know what I'm saying? He started putting a lot of people on so they could eat. And they never return the favor. Uh, they never always do. Yeah. They never our own do. people. They never do. Our own people. No this sense. is why we don't got nothing. Jamaica Hospital, Queens General, Woodhall Hospital in, in um Brooklyn. Brooklyn, yeah. That's where that rock comes from. Woodhall Hospital in the Brooklyn. The rock come from Brooklyn. Wow. That's where that rock come from. Because a lot of people are like, what well, the hell is rock your head? Yeah. That rock was brought there by Caterpillar 988. Bulldozer. Wow. wow. And it was even tippling over like that. And this is stuff that you, machines that you use in mines. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was even, the front of it was doing the end though when they was bringing that rock there. Wow. That's what and I'm saying. My father and his best friend from the south side painted that. They painted rock. that rock. Wow. wow. Initially. Got you. Damn. Yeah. Boy, that's a history lesson, man. Yes, Where it so You was pulling that's up to the more. spot in the Caterpillar. That's when you really got it. <laughs> yo. When you pull up to the spot in the Caterpillar, yo, yo, you know what, shorty? We're going to take the Caterpillar tonight. Yo, I used to be in the machine playing around on South Road. Yo, I remember back in the day, South Road used to be so bumpy. Oh, mm-hmm. God. That's because the machines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was very heavy, and that's what messed up the road like that. Wow. But I used to be playing around in the smaller bulldozers and girls would be walking by like what you doing up here <laughs> <laughs> you work here i work here i'm coming back to bring you i'm talking about i was like 13 back girls was bringing me sandwiches from the project boy the pretty ones hey <laughs> <laughs> no five to six or six over here for real no month Yo. skippers so, they man. need love too they need love too man shout yeah. out to me mm-hmm. Big is the other guy, yes. Yeah. I need love. <laughs> Word the mother. Word. So, so fast forward, man. Let everybody know about Whip, Whip Fanatic Saturdays, man. Whip Fanatic Saturday is every Saturday, as long as it's warm, we out there till it's, it, it get cold, you know what I'm saying? Because people don't bring out these real nice cars. If it start raining <laughs> or get cold, they go in the garage. So, you know, we got old schools out there, new schools out there, any school. It's at, we hold it at Springfield Park in Springfield Garden in New York, yes, Springfield Park. Yes, sir. Every Saturday night. That's from like 9 to 12. Hey. And uh, we everywhere. You know, we I'm building my car. My boys, they upgrading. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. But we outside. We threw big, big, big car meets. Um, had 200, 300 cars out sometimes. $100,000 vehicles. Woo! Mostly old schools. You know what I'm saying? Built from the ground up. Talk about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like... We did a lot in the community. We did we did some of one thirteen precinct, yes. uh, the trunk of tree trunk a couple of, tree. of years yep. ago. Yeah, very successful. Uh, uh, Seven hundred and ninety one people on the clicker. You know what I'm saying? So we've been doing shut the whole Jamaica Ave down, Facts. shut down Hillside, shut down Liberty for all old school cars coming from everywhere, Connecticut, Virginia, you name it. So Word up, man. that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Bring your it. plates, Word them up. but not your hate, man. You know what <laughs> what <laughs> I heard the mother, man. So where can people go to support your movement, man? For real. Listen, we're fanatic on Facebook, W H I P F A N A T I C. Right? Mm-hmm. We're fanatic one on TikTok. Come through and listen to the stories of the car game, how it all started, when it started. From yeah. the beginning, when the crack ever started, is when Ooh. the game started. All right, mother. For real, man. Shout out to Tory G. Man. That's my guy, man. I, I told y'all, man, he got an interesting story, man. It ain't all about just cars with him, man. It's a lot with him, man. That's my guy right there. Indeed. Me and him talk a lot, man, all the time offline. You know what I'm saying? For real. So I appreciate you pulling up and giving us a classic interview today, man. We're going to definitely put this one out there, man. I'm going to doctor this one up nice. You know what I mean? Man, it's a pleasure to know you come personally. On, come you on, man. Like, Yo, you're Word. doing something big here. Word. Bars and hoops, bars and hoops, bars and hoops. Word, the mother, man. Shout out to Ali yeah. Vegas. Word up, man. Oh, Shout Lord. out to my brother Vague, man. No, we don't. So, so you know me and Vague, man. But well, Vague coined this frame, man. Coins coined this phrase. 
hip hop shot clock, man. So you know we're mm. gonna do a little hip hop shot clock because we got some hip hop heads in the building today, man. Fifteen questions, man. For those of you checking in online, you got about twenty seconds, man. We give you about twenty seconds before you could call in and answer the question. Right? If not, one of the people here in the in the room will probably answer the question for you, man. So we're gonna start from the top, man. I'm gonna start with a couple of layups, man. And if and it's a shame if any one of you in this building can't get this first question, man. Biz Marquis had a younger brother who was also a rapper. What was his stage name? And the number to call in is 516-206-0711. The phone lines are now officially open. Now, y'all remember, y'all remember Biz Marquis, little brother, right? They? I think I know who it is. You think you know who it is? brother name. <laughs> he said in the song he said in the song yeah, yeah, yeah. he said in the song you know what i'm saying and shout out to everybody out there checking in on youtube right now i'm saying people in the chat no no and no Word. no no they didn't get no, it no 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 nobody got it yet I don't the, even know. You don't know. You don't know Biz Marquis. Not no, you. I know. Not you. I you can tell you swear? I'm over here. Get like, out of here. I'm over here. Like, wow. How come Phrase. I don't know that one? Phrase, you know, right? You don't remember him? Oh boy. Yeah. Just think about the vapors. And stuff oh like that. man. Yo, I'm ah. I'm like, yo, I know it. No, no. Him. no he ain't me, mentioned him in the vapors. <laughs> he ain't mentioned his nah, little brother in the vapors. Nope. You know everybody on Google, huh? Nah. Well, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't pull up now. So nobody in the room got it? Tony, you got it? I, th- I thought on. I had it, but I might be wrong. Go ahead. Who, who, who you doing? I think I'm wrong. Because <laughs> I'm over here passing. All right, it start. Nah, it start with a D. Huh? Diamond Shout out to my guy, Tony. Look, he knew he was playing like y'all. I think I know it. Who Diamond Shell. I thought that was his DJ. Wow. Oh. Shelly D. Ladies, no. Oh. His name is Shelly D. <laughs> Everywhere he go, he rocks with me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's his brother for real. In real life, that's his real brother. No, that Diamond was Shell. Like that. He, yeah, he was on. He lived in Stone on, Mountain. Yeah, he lived in Stone Mountain there. Been for a long time. Wow. I bumped into him one day. Like, yeah, I didn't know who he was. Wow. He's like, yeah, Biz, my brother. Biz, who? Biz Marky. Yeah, because that's that whole Long Island set. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's that whole Long Island set. EPMD, yes. that's mm-hmm. that whole Long Island set. That's a fact. They was yeah. down there heavy. I seen them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that Brentwood. They had the rim shop down there. Yeah, that's uh, that Brentwood. That's that whole, that's yeah. that Brentwood, man. That's what's up. On, Word man. up. So I'm Native Tongues. Tongues. Native Tongues consisted of three hip hop groups. Name all three. That's a good one, bro. That's a lot. Because a lot of people don't know who Native Tongues well, three, three main, The three main groups. Okay. Let me, let me know when you're ready for the I'm answer. I'm ready for the answer. All right, you got De La Soul. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well. You, got, you got Jungle Brothers. That's two. That's you got, two. And you got the Flavor Union. You got a lot to Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. What you mean a Flavor Union? Oh, my bad. Jungle Brothers. My bad. You said the Jungle Brothers already. Yeah. Wait. Come I on, man. I said Jungle Brothers. Yeah. De La Soul. De La Soul. Um. <laughs> You got it, man. Yeah, it. Hold yeah, on, hold on. yeah. He was you super got confident. Yeah, with yeah, because he had a Zaha moment. Yo, let me know when you. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know it's not naughty by nature because what? naughty by nature is is, is um that's the flavor unit. Yeah. That's the flavor unit. De La Soul, Jungle Brothers. Yeah, I thought it was a layup. <laughs> Oh, I'm lost right now. <laughs> jungle, Yo, just think this, Jungle Brothers, Jungle Brothers, Jungle Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> jungle Brothers. You're going to have him say Baby Bam? And that no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> you got to say Baby Bam. Oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta oh, get him. Black Sheep. What? Black yeah, Sheep was a part yeah. of the Native Tongue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tribe call quest, Tribe man. Call Come quest. on, man. What's, what's wrong with you, man? I need to be shot. What's wrong? Yo, I ain't going like, to say that. Yo, yo, I ain't going to say that. Yo, yo I you swear. You knew you swear. You you was there. You was there. How you going to know, know that? <laughs> How you going to go the mother? You in square. He was you there, but don't know that. But the way he came out with his chest poked out. Yeah. Like, Let me you know when you're ready for the answer. You didn't even ask me. Let's, let's spotlight him again. Let yeah. me know when you're ready for the answer. Yeah, he was like, yeah. like oh. you know what I mean? Like, that you boy, he was talking to me, even asking me this word. I, got the nerve I don't know why the tribe didn't matter. Because he was 
You know, this is what we do here, man. Big Pun's debut album dropped in what year? Capital Punishment, baby. I know you, you're thinking the first year that come to your mind is 9-6 because that was a great hip-hop year. Yeah, but it, it, it wasn't 9-6. No. It was after that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't nice. I was it never was, a pun fan. He was never a pun fan. Yo, was it 99? Don't hit me with no arm yeah. no tomato. No, he's one off. 1998. Yeah, because it was the same time as Volume 2 when that Facts. Volume 2 came out. Facts. Because remember, that's when they was at war that time. So it was like yeah, whatever, facts. whatever. That's a fact. Now I got another one. I know none of y'all going to get this one. What was Lil Wayne's first rap name? <laughs> I know what it is. Get the fuck what? Universal. So you got oh, yeah. it. That's Universal. So I'm gonna let Tori go ahead. Tori, what was it? Little Gilly the Kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Gilly, you know, you can't even mess with me. <laughs> right. okay. How dare him? How dare him? Yeah, I can't. Yeah. How I can't. dare he do that? Yeah. What, what was his name? His first name was Shrimp Daddy. Shrimp Daddy? Shrimp okay. Daddy. That's some Louisiana type of. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Shrimp Daddy? Yes. Shrimp, Shrimp Daddy. Sprint Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Big yeah. Daddy Kane. Yeah. Big Daddy Clint Kane played an instrumental role in the career of this hip hop icon today. This one is a layup. Jay Z. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, the whole right. Brooklyn. Right. Right. Yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, facts. Facts. Corey Gunn's father was one half of this 90s hip hop duo. It was, and what was the name of their debut <laughs> single? What's the name of their de debut single? What's the name of their debut single? Um, New York? Nope. No, oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Was, um... God damn it. See, that's how Deja, you get people. Deja, yeah. Deja, Deja. Yeah, Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Deja there we go. Deja Vu. Yeah. Deja Vu. That's the thing. Niggas don't say, oh, New York. Yeah, yeah, Uptown, yeah. baby. Like, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, Niggas are calling and getting wrong. Like, yo, I was close. I, was close. <laughs> I knew that one. I knew that one. You knew that one? Yeah, All right. So. I was just wanting somebody online to get it. Nah, they, they, nah. They, 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 they by like, man, I'm going over their head. What's the difference between a 4.0 and 4.6? Right. Lana Michelle Mora is the name of this female hip hop icon from Brooklyn. Who? God. Lana Michelle Mora is the name of this female hip hop icon from Brooklyn. Shout out the phrase. You said I just took a swing at it. Yeah, MC Light, like, word up. Oh, I, I never knew her. What's her name. name again? Lana Michelle Mora. Yeah. Lana, Lana. Yeah. 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 Lana, Lana. Real quick, quick. Lana, right? Uh -huh. Lana. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Pull up to the mic, Joe. 196 Linda. This is this girl. I hated her. Nobody in the neighborhood <laughs> like her. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I'm head having head a party and my cousin coming over here. And y'all better not come over here and be all up in my cousin's face. Wow. <laughs> Who your cousin? MC Light. MC Light, get out of here. Not, stop lying. MC Light is not your cousin. Yeah. Watch. She was very confident. This was back when they were popping. It's like 87. Wow. They pulling up in Jettas. Light is a rock. Yeah. She pulled up in the Jetta. Silver with black celebrity tints. That's the first time I've seen that. With all the windows is tinted and even the front window. Wow. wow. Real black and it had like Def Jam sticker on the back window. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. oh shit. Then she jumped out. I'm like, oh, first time I was ever starstruck in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was in love with her. Facts. I said, yo, that's really her cousin. Wow. Right around the corner, like her, her mother's. Yeah, I know her pops. Lived over there, right? Yeah, I know her pops. Yeah. By the post office. Yeah, right down the road. Yeah, I wow. Know her pops. You know what I mean? I know her pops and all that. Wow. Yeah. But he didn't he have a label? But I always you know. Well, let me stop. 
because I messed up into a hub and um milk was brothers and sisters. Is that correct? I say no. cousin, cousin, cousin. They related. Cousin. Yeah, they cousin. But somebody no, no, had a, a, a record they, label. They, 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 they no, they wasn't from. related. They wasn't related. They're not related, but because they came up under the label of um like cold chilling. talking about not, not cold chilling. No, it's um, like uh, it was it was milk and gets pops. But what was like the name that. of the label? The, um, it was Milk and Giz Pop. Right, oh. right. And, and when Light joined it, they they yeah, Giz my guy. Now. Yeah, they joined. She joined as a sister. They they started calling her their sister oh, okay. because of the you know because they were all Giz up under my the same guy. Thing. He, he remind me of Tiny. Giz always Giz yeah. and Giz always remind me of Tiny. Right? <laughs> Giz was my guy. Oh, man. Um, what was it? Top Billing. What was the name? Top Billing. Yeah, yeah. Top Billing. Yeah, yeah. Top Billing. Yep. 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 Used to always be at Eddie F. Crip. Facts. Facts. Eddie F. Special hey. Ed had these two pets when he had it made. <laughs> oh, I got to remember the Say it again. Lyrics. A frog and a dog with a yeah, solid yeah. go ball. Yeah. What the mother? <laughs> How many Honda scooters did he get? Who had, uh, uh, damn. Honda School had 74. 74. You know, I, you know, I always ask the question. I'll be like, I I'll ask the question quick. I'll be like, I tell them that's how we that's how we started the joint. We always just we always be asking each other like hip hop questions. Yo, I was like, dope. I said, where was Fifty Cent at eating when he found out that Chico stopped boxing? <laughs> yeah. They don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Tell them, babe. Over oh, then the shrimp and lobster and Benny Hannes. Benny Hannes, fat. Chico stopped boxing. They started robbing, robbing diners. Yeah. Word. See, I'm sorry. So. That's how we come up with that whole shot. Right. I, I like this. I like man. that. I so, like this. Yeah. Yeah. What was the title of Mob Deep's debut album? Mm. Infamous Mob? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they did an album before that. Yeah. Oh, the first right. When they had hit it from the back. Yeah. Hit it from the back. My sister yes. was in that video. I was going to kill her. <laughs> My older sister. Oh, what? She was in a bunch of videos. But I'm like, what are you doing in there? Oh, man. Here like, right go. That's me. I'm like, yo, get the hell. Somebody on me, my, my feet, Juvenile Hell, they man. Said, they said Juvenile Hell? Shout out to them on that. Yeah. My man Castro 718 said Juvenile Hell. Castro 718. Shout out to Castro 718, man. <laughs> Salute. All right. So here we go. Name all five members of Puffy of Puff Daddy's making the band two group. Uh, oh, please. Two. Let me just say one. This is two. two. Dylan, 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 Dylan. They all Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Nah, he's saying two. He wasn't bad. The band two. I don't think he was part of that. That um, the two. I think he made his debut, but it was Babs, Enes, Sarah Stokes, Young Chopper, and Freddie. It wasn't Dylan. Dylan wasn't in it. Nah, he wasn't in that one. Nah, he wasn't he was in, in the first one. Nah. <laughs> yo, yeah. shout out to E Ness killing what? TikTok, yo. Yeah. Oh my what? god. Yeah, yeah, what? he is. Yeah, he, so he, he, he is burning TikTok up. That nigga is hot. Really? Yeah, yes. his, his his style is crazy. Mm. Wow. He I like the daily game, like this. I like the <laughs> game freestyle too. The game is freestyle too. That's game? what's up. Yeah. So AZ got it. This is a layup right here. AZ got his record deal based off of his debut verse on what song? Life's a bitch. That's, that's, that, that was a layup, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. How much did Nipsey Hussle sell his Crenshaw mixtape for? A hundred dollars. This hip hop icon bought a hundred copies to show their support. Jay-Z. Shout out to Tiny. He was all right. But you can't they get crushing it. The whole room you crushing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the new school shit, but you get the old school shit. You said that was the lion on. I'm sorry, yo. No, no, yo. It won't happen again. So here we go. Last two. What was Jay Z's third album title? Oh, in my lifetime, volume two. No. Reasonable doubt. No, reasonable doubt was his first. Reasonable album. That was his first album. And then, then um, in my lifetime, was the second album. Um, bro, you was close. Blueprint. I think. No, <laughs> nah. a, no, you was close. That's right. not the name. See, the, the 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 series is in my lifetime. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's not the name of the album. Nah. No. Oh. Mm -mm. 
Tiny was close. Nah. Nah. Tiny was close, but he just said the wrong title. That's what I'm right. saying. In my lifetime. In my lifetime is volume one. Volume one. Oh, um. <laughs> he leaning think, on a Bentley. He's leaning on a Bentley. Song. I know, think I know. Song, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And I think I was just knocking that shit. Hard Knock <laughs> Life, Life. Oh, Volume oh, 2. Come on, life. man. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah. Think of the song, baby. Yeah, Hard Knock yeah, Life. Y'all probably ain't going to get this one right here. This is the last one. And shout out to all my basketball heads, man. Shout out to D3D, man. Shout out to everybody that was behind that Point Guards uh, documentary. Yeah, Word up, man. Just this basket, the, the basketball player Richie Parker almost caught a case with this New York City hip hop legend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a clue. What, what, what was that? What was that question? This, the basketball player Richie Parker almost caught a case with this New York City hip hop legend. Nobody gonna get that one. Cameron. Cameron. He said it in a song. I oh. almost caught a case with Rich Parker ass. <laughs> Cause back then they both went to Manhattan Center and they Richie Parker allegedly raped the girl, and Cam was with him. You know what I'm saying? They both played at uh, Manhattan Center together. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 